Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make more oranges and lemons. And this is a follow on video from last Friday's Yarn Scrap Friday crochet tutorial. Um, if you didn't see that one, it was I showed you how to make these little fruit segments uh, for oranges and lemons. You could also make them in uh, green as well for some little lime segments. And I'll put a link to that video either over the top of this or in the description below. But I thought for this video I would do a follow on from that and actually make the orange and lemon. Now this orange is probably more a Satsuma Clementine size orange rather than a big juicy orange. Um, but the lemon's probably accurate in size. And I'm going to show you how to make half of the lemon, these half half fruits, half fruits. Um, but if you make two of them, you can actually put them together and make a whole lemon or a whole orange as well. So, and for this video, this video by the way is going to be a normal paste video. So last Friday's was actually designed for absolute beginners, so it was quite slow. And a few of you noted that it was quite slow. So I do apologise if that was annoying for those who are a bit more used to crocheting, but it was designed for those beginners out there because it's nice to try and cater for the people that aren't as good as some of us um, who've been crocheting for a lot longer. So, but this video is going to going to be uh, normal paste, and we're going to be using some. DK light worsted weight yarn and we're going to be using some orange and some yellow and a little bit of white as well. I don't need this much yarn, this is just the colours that we need. So you need orange, yellow and white. I'm also going to be using a tiny, tiny little bit, not this much, <laughs> of some green as well. And all these are DK light worsted weight yarns, but you can use any yarn um, weights that you like, really. Um, and the green is actually just for the other half of the orange because I'm going to add a tiny little bit of sort of green nubbin on the top of the orange when we make the second half. And we're going to be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and also a good idea to have some scissors and a yarn needle. And we're also going to be needing some toy stuffing as well because we're going to be stuffing these little fruit halves. Um, so you can either use toy stuffing available from most craft stores or you can actually use just scrap pieces of yarn for stuffing as well. It's a great way to use up those yarn scraps that you can't even use for a project. So, <laughs> Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so in this first video we're going to be doing the orange to start. And we're going to be taking our orange yarn, our DK light worsted weight orange yarn, I'm going to work um, eight a single crochet into a magic circle. And if you don't like the magic circle, um, you can actually chain four, slip stitch into your first chain to form a loop, and then work the eight single crochet into that loop if you want to. But we're going to use the magic circle technique. We're going to work eight single crochet. And I have done a video in more detail on the magic circle. Um, which you can either watch in the fruit segments from last week or um, I'll put a link in the description to the actual tutorial just on the magic circle. That's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And the last one, eight. And then we just pull our tail in, tighten. And then we're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet, six, eight, to join the round. So by the end of that round you should have eight single crochet and then what we're going to do we're going to chain one and uh, when we chain one we're going to bring up the yarn a little bit to make it nice and loose so it's easy to slip stitch sti slip stitch into at the end <laughs> so we chain one keeping it quite loose then we're going to work a single crochet in the same stitch that we just slip stitched into to join the round so just below your chain one so going back into that same stitch you slip stitched into. We're going to work a single crochet. Okay, so you've got chain one and a single crochet. 
and then we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around. So in the next stitch we do two single crochet, we do one, then we go back into the same stitch and do another one. So you've got two. And we do that for all the other stitches, we just do two single crochet into each stitch around until you've got 16 stitches we've doubled up. So we're counting the chain one as a stitch as well. So it's two single crochet in each stitch around. Let's come up to the last two. 15 and 16. And then we just slip stitch into our chain one to join the round so not going into that stitch there you need to find your chain one just next to what I call that fake stitch that's tricking us. There we go and just work a slip stitch. So at the end of uh, round two you should have 16 stitches. Okay, so moving on to round three, we're going to chain one again. So just again bring up that yarn to keep it nice and loose before you do your chain one. And then, then we're going to go straight on to the next stitch. So not that one there we slip stitched into, but the next stitch along, we're going to do two single crochet. So two single crochet in the next stitch, but we're still counting that chain one as a stitch. So we do two in there in the same stitch like so. And then in the next stitch we're going to do one single crochet by itself. Just one by itself. And then two single crochet in the next stitch again. So that's one and then another one in the same stitch. So you've done chain one, two single crochet, then one single crochet, two single crochet. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochet again in the next stitch so we're just repeating that pattern so there's one and another one in the same stitch so we just repeat that round until we end up with 24 stitches just doing one single crochet two single crochet one single crochet two single crochet until you end on a two single crochet and then I shall come back okay. One single crochet and two single crochet. Then just going up to the last two stitches, we do one single crochet and then ending on the last one with two single crochet. One and another one in the same stitch. And then all we do is we slip stitch into our chain one and to find our chain one we ignore that little trickery dummy stitch there and just next to it is our chain one. So what I do is I just place my hook and use my nail to pop it through the first loop and underneath the second and then just slip stitch. Because we kept it nice and loose it's quite easy to see. So there we go, so by the end of round three you should have 24 stitches and that includes your chain one. Okay so moving on to round four we're going to chain one again so we pull up keeping it nice and loose like so and then in the next stitch so not in that one there where we slip stitched but the next stitch we're going to do a single crochet like so. Then in the next stitch we're going to do our two single crochet so we do one and another one in the same stitch. So you've got chain one, one single crochet, two single crochet. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two. So that's one single crochet in the next stitch by itself, then one single crochet in the next stitch by itself, and then two single crochet for an increase. One and another one in the same stitch. So we're just going to repeat that round doing one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. 
one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, all the way back to the beginning. You should end on a two single crochet and you should have 32 stitches, including your chain one by the end of that round. Okay, so we do one single crochet in the next two, one, another one in the next stitch, and then two single crochet in the same stitch. Okay. Okay, so just at the last three stitches and we do one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, just like before, and then ending on our two single crochet. One and two. Okay, and then we need to slip stitch in our chain one. So to find our chain one, we the next stitch is our little trick dummy stitch, and just next to that is our chain one. So I just Put my hook there and use my nail just to find that stitch, that chain one, there we go, and just slip stitch into there. So by the end of that round you should have 32 stitches and then we do the next round which is our last round of increases, round five. We Again we chain one to so bring up that yarn keeping it nice and loose. And then the next stitch, so not the one we slip stitched into, but the next stitch, we do a single crochet. And then we do a single crochet in the next stitch. And then we do our two single crochet, and they should line up with your previous increases as well. So one and another one in the same stitch. Like so, so, it should line up. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next three. So, one single crochet by itself, one single crochet by itself, then one single crochet by itself, and then we do our next two single crochet, which again should line up with your previous increases. So, one single crochet and another one in the same stitch. And we're going to repeat that again all the way back to the beginning doing one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet then one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. So you're doing one single crochet in the next three and then an increase of two single crochet. And just repeat that all the way around until the last so you get to the end you should end on a two single crochet again and then you should have 40 stitches. Okay so one single crochet in the next three and then a two single crochet. Okay, so just coming up to the last four. And we do one single crochet in the next three. One, two, and three. And the last one we do our two single crochet. So it's one and two. And then all we do is the same as before, we just slip stitch into our chain one. So there's our fake stitch and just next to that is our chain one. So hook it through those two bits of yarn and bring it through to slip stitch. So there we go. And if it's a bit curly like that, don't worry, just flatten it down like so. And by the end of that round you should have 40 stitches. Okay, so now we've finished doing our increases, we just need to move on to our length. And these are going to be round six to nine, so six, seven, eight, and nine, all going to be the same. And what we do is we chain one, again, bringing it up, keeping it loose. And we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch around. So we're keeping a stitch count of 40. So we just go straight into that next stitch. So not the one we slip stitched into, but the next one. And we just do one single crochet in each stitch around, just by itself. So no increases. And we're going to do that for four rounds. So that's round six, seven, eight, and nine. Of just doing chain one, one single crochet in each stitch around, and then we slip stitch into our chain one to join the round. Okay, so I'm going to do those four rounds. And then I shall come back and show you what to do next. And then doing that creates, we've done our increases, it creates the length. Oops, you can't see, create the length 
about that. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then I shall come back. Okay, so I'm just coming up to the last two on the last round. Still doing our one single crochet in each stitch around. Then I'm just going to join by slip stitching in our chain one. And there we go. So there we go. You should have done four rounds of just chain one, one single crochet in each stitch around, and then um, slip stitch into your chain one to join the round. And it should look a little something like that. And what we're going to do now is what we're going to do now is what are we going to do now? We're going to just cut our yarn like so. There we go. We can hide our tail ends on the inside. And what we're going to do, we're just going to get our yarn needle and just bring our last tail end onto the inside. So we're just going to go into the next stitch. Just bring that, bring that in. And then to skew into place, I'm just going to sew it through, roughly through a few stitches, and then come back in the opposite direction. There we go. We don't need to trim the excess, we can just tuck it on the inside, because it will all be hidden later. Okay, so what I'm going to work on now is we're going to work on this part here. And this part here is exactly the same as this part here but we don't do our increases but there's a slight difference because we use a little bit of white yarn so there's also an extra round as well so let's just show you so the first thing to do is we're going to do eight single crochet into our magic circle again let's do your eight single crochet let's do a little dummy stitch so there's one seven and eight just to make sure our stitches are facing the right direction before we pull. There we go. And then we just slip stitch into our first single crochet. So two, four, six, seven, and eight. I'll tail end up away. There we go. So we just slip stitch to join our rounds. We should have eight single crochet by the end of that, that round. And then we do the same as we did before for our main part of the orange. We just bring our yarn up and do our chain one. Then we're going to do a single crochet in the same stitch that we just slip stitched into underneath our chain one. So go back into that same stitch you just slip stitched into and do a single crochet. So, and then we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around. So let's do two single crochet in the next stitch. So that's one. And another one in the same stitch. So you're doubling up. And then we do two single crochet in each stitch around. That's the beginning until you've got 16 stitches, including your chain one. One and two. One and two. Okay, then our last stitch, two single crochet as well, one and two, and then when you make sure you've got your 16 stitches we're going to slip stitch into our chain one, so ignoring that little fake stitch there as I call it, just next to that is our chain one, it'll be quite small on the first round so. Sorry about the background noise by the way. <laughs> there, there we go. And then we just slip stitch, bring that through. Okay. So by the end of round two, you should again have 16 stitches, just like the beginning of your orange part here. Okay. Okay, so moving on to round three, it's the same again. We're going to chain one, so bring your yarn up, keeping it nice and loose. But this time we're going to go into the next stitch, so there's the one we slip stitched into. So I'm going over to the next stitch there. Bring that through. We're going to do two single crochet. So one 
and another one in that same second stitch there. Okay, so you've chain one, then in the next stitch you've done two single crochet. In the next stitch we do one single crochet. Then the next stitch we do our two single crochet. One and two in the same stitch. Again, okay, you can repeat that round doing one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, until you end on a two single crochet and you should have 24 stitches by the end of that round, including your chain one. Okay, so that's one single crochet, then two single crochet, one and on the same stitch. Okay, so just coming up to the last two stitches, and again, just repeating the same pattern, one single crochet in the next stitch, and then the very last one, two single crochet. One and two. And then we slip stitch into our chain one, so let's find our chain one. So there's our fake stitch there, and just next to that is our chain one. Like so, bring the yarn through, slip stitch, and there we go. And by the end of that round, you should have 24 stitches. Okay, so moving on to the next round again, it's the same again. We're going to chain one, so bring that yarn up, keeping it loose. And then the next stitch, so not the one we slip stitched into, but that next stitch along. Where are you? There he is. I'm going to do one single crochet. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do our two single crochet. So one and another one in the same stitch. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two. So one single crochet in the next stitch by itself. Then one single crochet in the next stitch by itself. And then two single crochet, which should line up with your previous increases, your previous two single crochets. And two in the same stitch. Okay. So you should have done chain one and then one single crochet, then two single crochet, then one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. And you can repeat that round doing one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, which should line up with your previous increases. Back to the beginning, ending on two single crochet, and you should have 32 stitches by the end of that round. Okay, so that's one single crochet in the next two. One by itself, then another one by itself, and then two single crochet. One and another one in the same stitch. Okay, okay it's just coming up to the last three stitches, and again, same thing one single crochet in the next two, so that's one by itself, one by itself, and then the last stitch, two single crochet, one and another one in the same stitch, and then we're going to slip stitch into our chain one, which is there. What we're going to do, we'll, stick, we'll put our hook in first, but instead of grabbing the orange, put that down a sec, I'm going to get our white yarn. Again, this is a DK light worsted white yarn. I don't need much of this at all, which is good because I'm running out. I can't even find the end. Where's the end gone? There we go. So instead of wrapping over the, the orange, we're going to wrap over our white, making the tail end that side to the right of our hook and just holding it. Just going to pull that through instead and then slip stitch with the white and now we're working with our white yarn and you can pull your orange yarn tight and your white tail end down to hold it into place and then what we're going to do is the same thing again for the next round we're going to pull up slightly and do our chain one and then we'll do a single crochet in the next stitch and then a single crochet in the next stitch 
and then we're going to do our two single crochet which should line up with your previous two single crochet and then we're going to do one single crochet in the next three this time so that's one by itself one by itself then one by itself and then we do two single crochet which should line up with your previous two single crochet there. so just repeat this round this this pattern doing one single crochet in the next three so that's one single crochet one single crochet one single crochet and then two single crochet which should line up and again one single crochet in the next three two single crochet back to the beginning so you end on two single crochet okay and that's until you've got 40 stitches okay so just coming up to the last stitch which is going to be our two single crochet one and two and then what we need to do is we need to slip stitch into our chain one which is there so we're just going to put our hook through but what we're going to do rather than wrap the white yarn over we're going to bring back our orange and we don't need to fasten off our orange we can just bring that straight through from when we were using it before there we go and then you can just pull your white yarn to tighten that and now we're working with our orange again okay just putting all my tail ends okay so what we're going to do now is just going to chain one keeping it nice and loose and then we're going to do just one single crochet in each stitch around so we just go into the next stitch and do a single crochet then we do one single crochet in each stitch around so you're keeping a stitch count of 40 okay so I'm just getting to the end I've got to the last stitch and you'll finish <laughs> you may notice some background noise <laughs> uh, yeah so and then we just slip stitch into our chain one to join and you should still have a stitch count of 40 so you should have only done chain one one single crochet in each stitch around and just slip stitch you should still have 40 and what we're going to do now is we're going to cut your lemon <laughs> we're going to do the lemon afterwards then we're going to cut the white and then we're going to leave a fairly long tail for sewing like so and then we can just pull that through there we go. Okay, so we're just going to trim our ends. And uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just tie the uh, the white. It's going to be hidden on the back, so you're not going to see any of this. There we go, just tie that into place and just trim those down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take some more of our white yarn and take a fair enough length of our white it's about, ooh, about that much <laughs> and then we'll thread it onto our yarn needle and we're going to come up on the wrong side for the middle and just leave a little bit at the end to sew in afterwards and then finding we'll start here at the beginning where we were joining our rounds I'm just going to go up to our white like so make sure the tail ends out the way and then we're going to come back through the middle make sure your orange isn't getting in the way and then finding your next increase which our last increases were there if you can see your two single crochet there we're going to go up to that stitch there and then we come back through the middle again making sure to keep your orange out of the way and then again finding your next increase your two single crochet we're going to put our needle in there and we'll just continue this round until you've divided your 
orange up into eight segments. Eight segments, that's right. <laughs> that's right, eight segments. And then the last one, we come up through the middle, just that before. Making sure not to pull too tight because you don't want to distort your orange. And going into the last two single crochet increase there. You should have divided it up into eight pieces there. So then we just take our needle off and then finding the beginning piece which is actually I've sewn it in already so that's that doesn't matter then <laughs> but taking a bit of your beginning yarn we're just going to tie this because all this is going to be hidden on the back anyway so I'm just going to tie it with that bit of yarn just to secure it into place like so that's nice and fun and I'm just going to trim down the white that's on the back and that's the front and all we got to do now is join the two together and you should have 40 stitches on here and you should have 40 stitches on here so what we're going to do is we're going to get our yarn needle again thread on our orange tail end and then just match up the stitches and I start with the beginning there and the beginning here we just put it through one of the stitches And then make sure that's the right side is facing. And go through one of the stitches just to get it to the right side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go across to the next stitch. And then we're going to go through the stitch on the bottom. So you go across and then through both the stitches like that. Shh. Stick in. It's sticking. And we're going to go across to the next stitch on the base and then up through the stitch on the top. And then the same again, we're going to go across the stitch at the top and then through the stitch on the oh, bottom. Oh, you okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then across the stitch on the bottom and up the stitch on the top, like so. I'm just going to repeat this round, going across and through the stitches and across through the stitches. And so you've got a little hole left because then we need to stuff our little orange segment. So just do it around to about there and leave a little opening and then we shall mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to do that and then I shall come back. Okay, so one thing actually, just before we finish sewing up, is I want to create a little green bit of tiny little pip foliage thing that you get on the end of oranges. Ooh, we only need I'm to so do it on. <laughs> we only need to do it on one of them. So we're going to take our green yarn and our 3.5 millimeter now. crochet green. hook, green yarn. Got three now. <laughs> and then we're going to chain three. So it's going to chain three. So that's one, two, three. And then we're going to slip stitch into our first chain. And then we're going to chain three again. <coughs> one, two, three. And then we're going to slip stitch back into that same first, very first chain again. Like so. And we're going to chain three again. One, two, three. Then we're going to slip stitch into that first chain again. And this creates a little tiny bit of green. Then we're going to cut our yarn. Oops. Like so. And then we just need to sew these two pieces through. So I've lost my yarn needle. Where, where? There it is. Oh of course it's on the orange. There it is. There we go. So we're gonna take <laughs> my little helper in the background. And take one end and then we're gonna sew just to the side of the center. Just to the side. And just bring that through your orange. 
and the same with the other piece of yarn we're going to go just to the other side but not right for the middle so just the other side and bring that through not yet your finish is pasta <laughs> the pasta being cooked <laughs> and then what we do on the inside we're going to tie our two ends into a double knot like so and then we can just hide our tail ends on the inside and that creates a little green bit just on the end of our orange like so but you don't have to add this if you don't want to and then we just need to go back to our sewing the orange so we'll just carry on going over and up then over and down Okay, so just before you finish sewing, my little helper's gone now, she's going to have a, some food. So I'm just going to finish up this video and go join her. So we just get some toy stuffing and we stuff our little orange half. Um, I don't think it really matters how much you put this in, it's better to make it quite, quite firm. So you can use the stuffing to help shape it a bit there we go, make it nice and round a bit more and I think that'll do And then we just carry on sewing up our orange the same way we did before, so going over and up, then over and down, just to close up that hole. And these are great, great little um, projects to do for children. Can make a whole I think over over time I will create a whole fruit bowl <laughs> I have also done a video on making a strawberry as well as a little pumpkin so I'll put links in the description to those videos as well in case you haven't seen those and there we go and then when you've finished sewing up your hole you can do a few stitches for good luck and then like so and then we need to hide our tail end. So what we do is we just go into our project and then just come out anywhere on your orange, it doesn't matter where. Just bring the yarn through. Don't pull too tightly because you don't want to distort your orange. And then we're going to go over here somewhere. Again that will disappear on the inside, don't pull too tightly. And then one more, I think, just come out anywhere, don't pull too tightly and then just take off your yarn needle and what we do is we push our project down and just pull that a little bit tight and just hold it with those two fingers while pushing down and then trim the end and then when you let go and your project bounces back the tail end gets hidden on the inside and there we go there is our finished orange half and this one's got a little bit of green on the top and you can make one exactly the same but without the green and then they technically join together to make a whole orange <laughs> like so obviously not perfectly because they're crocheted but um, good fun we've got two orange two orange halves that make a whole so there we go and there's our little orange which can go with our orange segment which actually matches up to the size of the orange it actually genuinely looks like a segment taken from the orange and in my next video which I'm going to do tomorrow but for you it will be part two I will show you how to make a lemon
which is slightly different. It's similar, but just slightly um, different because it's more of um, whereas that's more rounded, that's more elongated. So there we go, and I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you didn't mind the uh, background noise too much, and I shall see you soon for some more crochet fun, or I'll see you in part two for the lemon. Cheers for watching, guys. Bye.